Welcome back. No time has passed for you. For us, <laughs> it's 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 kind of like Interstellar. We are on a we're on a planet next to a black hole. It's been years. I yeah. am old. I I was I had no gray in my beard in the earlier segment. Why why didn't they just age backwards? Do it. Why don't they just? We had some vibrato there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fancy on us. Yeah, that wasn't even that was real. That was some some realness. Some <laughs> fifth grade choir realness for you guys. All right, deep aim. <laughs> so, um, Yolkin Hormis, I'm sure I'm murdering that name. Said, why don't they just build space only starships for transfers between planets and moons? Those would not need sea level engines and other reentry stuff, but could have more radiation shielding. That's that's an interesting question. Let's yeah. start with Ben on that one. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a, not a terrible idea. Um, it sounds like it would be challenging, and for me, it always comes back down to the economics of is that cheaper than doing it how we're doing it now? But assuming you could, let's say, uh, source those materials in space, like from an asteroid or somewhere else, and then make them in space, it sounds, I don't know about starships, but some kind of vehicle. Um, to, to me, that sounds like a reasonable idea, assuming you know the economics work out, I guess. Yeah, Joe? Well, that's pretty far in the future. I mean, why don't they just... 50 years from now do this i don't know why don't they in 50 years do this but um you know they have the starship version that may be landing on the moon um i've kind of wondered like it's it's not rated for re-entry right isn't it in the idea that it would like uh dock with the space station and astronauts would get off there and then take a capsule back down and it could potentially even just kind of get into earth orbit and rendezvous with like a you know dragon capsule or something and sure yeah yeah yep yeah so i mean I I think it's actually that's that's kind of an interesting thought of how the starship could evolve over time to have various different specific uh jobs you know and and how they might change it in different ways. I mean, I could see it happening, sure. Yeah. Tell us why we're wrong now. You're all exactly right. I mean, <laughs> that, we all we basically like you said, we basically already have this. We already have a moon only one that's never going to come back into reentry. So, um, you know, so as far as we know, there's already four different dedicated Starship versions. There's the kind of regular one that is kind of the do-all, but that is the main one that can land on Mars and come back. But that's, you know, has the aerodynamic fins, uh, maybe a a cargo section. So there's, uh, but then mostly it has a big pressurized section for people. That's kind of what we think of as Starship, maybe. The next one would be, you know, there's cargo only with the big chomper mouth, the big alligator mouth thing that opens up and lets out satellites. Then we have Please, a tanker let's call only. It the chomper. I want yeah. that so bad. <laughs> yep, the chompy. Uh, and then there's <laughs> and then there's the tanker version that refuels other to give it more delta v to get it out of our, you know, up to the moon and stuff. And we have the lunar, the space only version. So there's already like four mm. variants of Starship that we know that are planned to be made. And when they're iterating stuff like this as quickly, I absolutely do not see a reason why they can't make more and more dedicated starships for, for different missions. I mean, yeah. kind of a, it's like a one. It's like a F thirty five in the sense that like it's a platform that they're using it for different types of mm. uh, like fighting. You know, like this one will have this attachment, but it's even more like you know, it's basically just a giant tank, and you take and take add things to it that you need it for certain missions and take things off for other missions, you know? I mean, why don't they just? Word. I think they will. Great question, though. I think that's I think that's a great thought experiment. So thanks for that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. We all answered that one, baby. <laughs> there you go. The trifecta. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.